Hello everyone, this is Ujwal Twitex here from the channel Core Club Day and in this video I'll be showing you how to create a simple quotation app in Python. Uh, in this tutorial I'll be using the beautiful Soup 4 and the version is 4.8.2 and since I have already installed it, uh, you can install it by typing this command in your command prompt or in terminal. So let's get started. So first of all uh, I want to show you this site which is uh, greatestquotations.com and here you will find popular authors, popular subjects and quick links. So I will be extracting this data uh, from the site means in the name of the authors and then I will be showing you how to do it. Um, uh, just like if I am going to click here, it is going to show me the quotation of this author. So first of all, we'll extract the name of the authors from the site, and then we'll be extracting the quotation uh, quotes given by them. So let's go to VS Code. So as always, I'll import 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 requests. Okay, then from vs4 import beautiful soup ok then I'll make page then you want to request request dot get and url so what this basically will do is that it will paste the HTML code of the URL that we are going to provide and it will store it into the page object. So let me write here URL. So I'll write URL is equal to this okay. now the page object will be having this uh, all the HTML of that one so let's print it to see what we get print page dot content what this will do is it will print only the html content of the page not all those headers and body so let's see requests requests sorry Okay, so we have got the output here, the HTML of that page. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a soup object of beautiful soup. Soup is going to be beautiful soup, and then we pass two arguments. So the first argument is the HTML code. So since the HTML code is stored is in page dot content, so I'm writing here page dot content and a type of HTML parser. So write there are different types of HTML parser like HTML dot parser, LXML, XML. So write HTML dot parser. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to print soup dot So what this basically will do is it will prettify means it will print uh, not just like this in a paragraph it will print uh, <coughs> in a formatted way so let's see okay so we have as you can see we have got it in a fancy way or you can say this now what I'm going to do is Okay, now I'll write authors. I'm going to find authors, so let author list is equal to soup dot find all. Okay, and let's go to the web page and let's inspect this thing. 
Let's use this one to hover over the place where you want. So here we are. Okay, this list element. Okay, all this refers to this. Okay. Now what we basically have to find is we since we oh this is present inside the div class. So I'll first of all search for this div class. Okay. Then I'll search for the children of this div class. Okay which is column as you can see the order list is present inside the div so first of all I'll find this div then I'll find the order list so find all div div ok and the attribute of it is class to get it in more filtered way i'll write the class of this so that we get only this one so this index box container that will be there Control -C. index box contain side box container okay now let's print it print author list okay okay now we have got this okay we have got a list as you can see the square bracket index box container ralph waldo immersion okay and let's see if the yes oh sorry there are the first element ended here and now the second element is this okay oh, and the second element is here oh. i think there are three elements yes there are three so the first one that is from here to here uh, from here to sorry uh, that is from here to here it refers to the name of the authors so since is the this is the zeroth element and so i'm going to write here print author zeroth zeroth element okay okay we have got the output uh, uh, yes you can see div class index box container side box and as you can see this order list is present inside there. so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just find the children of this so let uh, author list 2 is equal to author list 0 since the author names are stored in only the 0th element so we need to search for only 0 element dot find children okay. and order list now we do not need to specify any attributes since we can find it since only single order list is present inside this so we do not need to search for it let me interrupt this by pressing control by c open control by c okay. and let me clear up this okay and now let's print it so let us like print author list okay. okay so we have got we have got the order list as a list it is also a list element okay and we have only single element and we have this list uh, and this is stored here span okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to search for span tag so i'll write for author is equal to Since this author list 2 is a list and the 0th element of it refers to the order list, alright. Author list 2, 0th element dot 
find all and let a span span okay now what i'm going to do is print since this will also author will also be a list so i'm not going to print only a single result so i'll print print author zero dot text okay so we'll just print author zero element the zero element of the author list okay so we have, we have got this the first element of this is ralph waldo emerson and since we have got this this tags so but we want only this word ralph waldo emerson so to get this i'm going to write here author zero dot text okay so it will print the, that thing but we want to print all the author's name so i'll write a loop here okay by i for i in range length author we have to print print author i dot text print author plus dot text okay let's see i forgot to give indentation and call and okay so we've got the names of all the authors ralph waldo emerson jw one go frederick nietzsche william shakespeare and oscar waldo so this is all for this video and in this uh, in the other upcoming video which i'll be publishing soon uh, we will be taking input from the user and uh, the input will be basically the name of the author and then we'll print out the quotes of that author so thanks for watching and happy coding to one and all and stay updated for my upcoming tutorial on this part